Okay, we previously connected this um, label to the code behind and we were able to change the text from 132 BPM to the hello. Okay, that was just an example. Now, obviously, we're not going to have the hello in the final app, but it was to show you that you can definitely change the text easily through the code behind. Now, what we need to do is handle this image. So how are we going to do this? Just go again in the interface controller.h file and right here under the first property, create another property. Again, non-atomic retain. And this time it's going to be also an IB outlet of type um, WK interface image. Okay, and put image um, image bit. Okay. All right, so now what we're going to do is go to the interface controller.m file and we're going to synthesize that. Add synthesize image bit. Okay. All right, now that we have this, if we go to the storyboard, we are going to be able to connect it. So um, click on the image, the bit under uh, dash one, and right here in the connectors tab, just select the uh, dot and just drag and drop this right here okay uh, that's one way and you can select the image bit now i'm not going to do it because i want to show you a different way of doing it what you can do is also select um select it and go to new new referencing outlet and drag it all the way here okay under the interface controller right there and select the image bit now there's also two more ways but i'm just going to stop here for now okay and now if you see that it is connected, okay? The image bit is connected in the interface controller. All right, so now what, what I wanna show you is that since it's connected, we are able to change the image here. How do we do that? Just go to your interface controller.m file and under the label bits per minute dot text, we're gonna change the image. How do we do that? We have two images actually. We have the bit dash one and the bit dash two. So I'm going to change it to bit dash two for now. Okay. So going back to the interface controller.m, how do you change the, the image? You go image bit set image. As you can see, I opened a bracket. Okay. Set image. And then it's asking for an image. So you do UI image, image named and as you can see, every time I press enter, because it has autocomplete, it basically uh, can um, intuitively know what I'm about to type. Okay, isn't that great, right? And the image is named bit-2.png. All right, and close the first bracket, close the second bracket, and end with a semicolon. Okay, so um, this is uh, the secret sauce here, okay? This will change the image of the image bit outlet to the bit2. Okay, so now let's take a look um, and, and play that. So right now it's supposed to be blue, but if I click on play, let's take a look at what's gonna happen. ta -da! and there you go. We now have the yellow one appearing. Isn't that great, right? Okay, so now uh, next thing we wanna do is connect these buttons, okay? So whenever somebody tap on one of these buttons, we wanna trigger an action, okay? So I'll see you guys in the next lecture.